Welcome back. This is The Circle Live. Our next guest is a Grammy Award winning artist. She's a songwriter and now she's having conversations all across America on her conversations with Chrisette Michelle That's national it. tour. Please welcome to the show the beautiful Chrisette Michelle. Yay. Thank you. You, you look too. great. Thank you. Yes. All these smiles. Yes. yes. All these shots and yes. <laughs> That's just what we do. That's yes. what we do. It's a good time down to the circle. Yes, yes, Thank yes. You. Chriselle, let's just get on right into it, girl. Yes, ma'am. Now, you performed at the inaugural ball for number 45, what we mm -hmm. call them 45, Joe. Mm -hmm. And your life has not been the same. First, mm -hmm. how did you come to the decision to do it, and what motivated your decision? Sure. I think all artists come into this world thinking, I can save the universe. Mm -hmm. And so we try to create stuff to make people feel better. Yeah. Like, that's mm -hmm. just our way, mm -hmm. you know? And so when my, my manager was called by the agency to, the booking agency, um, the first thing I'm thinking is maybe there's something that we can do to make people feel better. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And so, long story short, I called Jonathan McReynolds, Ty Trebet, um, Travis Green, mm -hmm. and said, remember that performance we did uh, for the Gospel Awards? Can we do it again and try to be a source of upliftment? And some of them said yes, some of them said no, but in the end, it was Travis Green and I. I joke and say sometimes, everybody got a little of that, that, that Kanye, I can do anything mania moment. Mm -hmm. That was mine, mm -hmm. where I was like, we can, let's have a Sunday service in the wrong church. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just the wheel out the wrong church, which church? Right. <laughs> we got there, we was ready to have an altar call, we were gonna have an altar call. And we had an altar fall. Uh -oh. That's what happened, we did, girl. we did. So it taught me so much, but one of the main things that it taught me, and I'm full of the Holy Ghost, so I can laugh. I had a yeah, absolutely. That's good. But one of the main things that it taught me is that you can have love, mm -hmm. you can have good intentions, but you have to have wisdom yeah. in where you bring your love. You say, don't cast your pearls amongst the swine. Sometimes mm -hmm. we can't bring who we are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. And so that was the hard lesson, the humbling lesson, yeah. but it was a lesson, and yeah. I learned it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Chrisette, you took a lot of cri criticism. You really mm -hmm. did. And we know social media is a beast. They're mm -hmm. cruel. They don't care. They're mm -hmm. heartless. They really are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you know how bad the backlash was going to be? And can you talk to us a little bit about it? That was my first time in a moment like that yeah. as, as a... As a um as a high-profile individual. Mm -hmm. Sure. I had never experienced that much negativity uh, pointed towards my way. Mm. So I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. You ask somebody else who's experienced a lot of it, ne negativity, they say, oh yeah, I expected that. But it, originally, I thought that people would see my heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really had that ridiculous idea. Yeah. Um, now I call that idealistic, do yeah. you know what I mean? But before, I, I really believed that. How did it change your world, and then mm -hmm. how did you actually get through that? You know, yeah. now the good people who've been on reality TV, how do we get it all the time? But uh -huh. like you were saying, you were fresh to it. But yeah. how, it changed your world how, and then how did you actually push through mm -hmm. to get to the other side? Well, I've been on reality TV too. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is everybody will always laugh at me, because I'd be like, man, I wish I had that neck roll to, like, to uh -oh. give to the people. <laughs> I just always wanted to, yeah. that's my work, I will. Yeah. And I didn't have that. <laughs> And so instead, uh -huh. I went to yoga. Mm -hmm. I went to meditation. Mm -hmm. I went to mom and dad. Mm -hmm. I went and got my yoga certification just nice. so I could be immersed in meditation yes. and, and self <laughs> and, and listening and going within. I wouldn't have been able to come to those humbling conclusions mm -hmm. if I didn't get quiet. So while everyone was making a lot of noise, mm -hmm. and I didn't feel like that was directed literally towards me, I felt like the country was in turmoil oh, yeah. and I was a place that they could lay their brokenness. Mm. Do you know? So I, I did yoga and meditation and, and, and introspection and God helps you to see things from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't, I didn't take on that negativity myself. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. And you have been going through a rough time lately, but you've been very vocal about it. Mm -hmm. um, how has this rough time helped, uh, how has it hindered you or if you felt like it has uh, in your career or even transitioning from your from your record company. Yeah, I think everybody has rough times in life. Mm -hmm. So I don't identify find myself as going through a rough time. Mm -hmm. I identify myself as experiencing life. Mm -hmm. um, what one person would call a rough time, um, somebody else would call epic. So how can you be on tour and having a rough time? Mm -hmm. How can you be making records with Brian Michael Cox and be calling that a rough time? Mm -hmm. How can you open a yoga studio and call it a rough time? 
I'm not calling it a rough time, but you can't always be what people call you. Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I've gotten through it is by asking God who I am instead and then reiterating that to myself over and over again. Yes. Yeah. Really quickly before we uh, head out, um, for those people who are staying with us just for the half hour, half hour conversations with Chrisette Michelle, mm -hmm. how has that brought so much life to you? Yeah. My favorite thing in the world is people and perspectives. Yeah. I, my mother studied behavioral science, so that is who we are as a mm -hmm. family. So being able to talk with all different types of audiences is everything to me. And yeah. it just gives me another lease and idea about good, life. Good, good. Mm -hmm. To find out more about her conversations with Chrisette Michelle, please follow her on Instagram, at Chrisette Michelle. And if you're staying with us, so is she. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yes. Yay. We are back on Sister Circle Live with a very beautiful, talented, and science sister, Chrisette Michelle. Yes, yes. I mean, but you be singing though. Right. <laughs> you be singing. Yeah. It's just the truth. Y'all be both be singing. Yeah. 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 I'll be singing too. I'll be right now. Oh my and God. We can't sing. Right, 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 right. I know we jumped. We uh, we talked a little bit about uh, conversations with Chrisette Michelle, but what what was the intention behind doing it? I know mm. you what you want people to get, but what was the intention behind doing? it? And then you recently talked to some Clark Atlanta University students as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. You know they, we have this thing called cancel culture, and I think we take the wrong thing away from people. We mm -hmm. try to take money away from them. We try to take jobs away from them. They can go and get another one. Mm -hmm. They can go make money and make the same mistakes. I think that uh, the most important thing to give to those people, people like myself, people like each other is conversation mm -hmm. you know you take all of this other stuff away and, and you take the words away that's the worst part mm -hmm. of cancel mm -hmm. culture is that we stop speaking so I think it's really important that we sit down and talk uh, whenever anybody is brave enough to do so. Yes, yes. Impart wisdom and all that getting. I'll understand it. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now. Yes. It's, a lot, it's a lot of different perspectives to choose from. Yes. If you mm -hmm. don't know more than your own, then you can only do your own. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so I have learning to do. Everybody has learning to do. We all can grow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's been fun sitting with different types of audiences talking about different things. Yeah. 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 But, you know, real talk, you really are a very talented singer. Thank very you. talented songwriter Thank and you. I'm just one you're, you're coming out with a brand new single mm -hmm. welcome mm -hmm. back thank Sarah you, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, have you taken these life experiences that you're going through now and have you have you imparted that back into your new music mm. uh, I want to make believe that I got a song called why did I sing with them but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sing about that right. <laughs> why would I want to sing that song right. I want to sing about love I want to sing about heartbreak. Yes. Yeah, I went through a divorce. Yes. I want to sing about stuff that we all experience. Yes. That was a tumultuous time in the country. Mm -hmm. It's about to come to an end. Mm -hmm. We're going to see the brighter side in just a minute mm -hmm. when we all go out and, and make it happen. Yes, mm -hmm. circle the So vote. I don't want to go back to that in and my next album. To. And I will not. Yes. Yes. I don't plan to. Yes. But I did an album called Out of Control. Um, and it was just an independent, very soft release um, just to share some of the heartbreak that I experienced. Mm -hmm. So if you want to listen to that, you can. But, but no, this next major release is about love. I like yeah, love. I like love. So like love. while we're on the topic of love, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, you, you, oh, you, you, you stated just recently that, mm -hmm. you know, you, your marriage ended in divorce. Mm -hmm. So did mine. Mm -hmm. what, what does love look like for you right now? <laughs> Love right now looks like me listening to what's going on in the inside. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to come back to myself. I think when we go through any type of um, pulling away, mm -hmm. uh, breaking away, a part of you feels like it might not be there anymore. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to go and either find it or ask God what needs to be in that place. Yeah. Um, and so love for me looks like uh, introspection right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And I'm very grateful. I got to spend a year in that space. Mm -hmm. I read every single book that you could <laughs> find in the self-help and psychology section. Yeah. <laughs> um, went to all the types of therapy, like mm -hmm. whichever kind they got, I went. <laughs> 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 Some of that type of thing. Let me, what's yes. that? Let's do that. I'm going to get one of those. Yes. This is a psychiatrist. Uh -huh. We got that. Get that right. too. Uh, you know, five for ten dollars. Right. Right. Yes. Everything. We got therapy. Because oh, I need to know me as best as possible yeah. mm -hmm. so that the next time I present myself, it could be from a full space. I always say I'm not single, I'm complete. Mm -hmm. Come on That's now. Good. I, like I, that. I don't like the isolation that the word single puts on mm -hmm. people. I'm, I'm, I'm not single, I'm good. I, I got a full outfit mm -hmm. on, I got food, I got water. <laughs> I got water. Yeah, I got water. Yeah. I got water. 
here. Yeah. Okay. Right. There's right. some people that don't got the water. It's though. true. It's yes. true. And so I wanted to come with that. But if you were today, mm -hmm. to date, to date, if you were to date someone, <laughs> what does that ideal person look like? A basketball player. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel yes. you, girl. I Be mean, careful, well, I, careful, I, child. I, I, I didn't want to tell the truth, but yes. I yeah, love like, it. Like, truth is like, 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 like that, like NBA yes. type of. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Let me tell you now, wait, wait a minute. Uh, oh, okay. I'm married. Yes. Yeah, and uh, they're a little spoiled, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> so a little what? spoiled at they fine and all. Well, she said look like. But they. Okay, what if he looked like a basketball player, but he's actually like, maybe like. What about his characteristics? A, motiv a, motiv a motivational speaker. Used to play basketball okay. and now he speaks. He's speaker. There you go. <laughs> it works Somebody out. that's giving service at the time, yeah. but he already went through his ways. Right. Retired. Nice. Retired that's basketball. Good. That was good. But that still got his swag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. that shot. Yeah. Still got his swag. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so like late thirties, right hitting at forty. Forty-two. Okay. Right. Boom. That's when they start getting good in their mind. Mm. Uh, okay. Well, speaking of. Um, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what you say now? She did a reality television show. For okay. Life. Biggest passion. Okay. <laughs> and that wasn't gonna be my question, so I got to get to another one. <laughs> but we want to talk about your philanthropy. Mm -hmm. But I think that you creating a yoga studio is a part of philanthropy, and here's cool. why. Mm -hmm. I think that you know I'm, a, I'm an avid yogi. I'm a, also a high yoga instructor, so I love, <gasps> love, love that you're a yoga instructor. We're yogis. Oh my god. But. Yoga does so much healing for people, mm -hmm. and you creating a studio mm -hmm. is a piece of your philanthropy. Mm -hmm. I want you to talk or tell us why um, you feel like philanthropy is so important as an artist, and how does your yoga studio studio tie into helping people? Because love, African Americans need together. to understand that we need it. Yeah, I love how you put those together. It is so important that we heal each other if we can. Yes. Right? So if you, and this is going to sound silly, but if you can't cook, bring a pie to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, Ms. that, that change, that change, <laughs> change you. She's talking to somebody me. gives you of their talent. Uh, the, look at, look inside and see what you have that heals. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then don't be afraid to give. Mm -hmm. I think we're all so afraid of rejection mm -hmm. that we don't know if Look it's okay it. to give whatever right. it is that we have. Oh my gosh, that yes. photo. That it. was in uh, Georgia out on Stone Mountain. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, but yes, about giving. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You've given us a lot today. Yes, you're appreciative of your time and your talent and your authenticity yes. and how vulnerable you are. We love it. Mm -hmm. And yes, the world continues to see it in you. And y'all, uh, single basketball players, make sure you. Yes. <laughs> single retired. Yes. That's right. That's don't right. come around here acting no fool. But we don't have time for that. She's at peace. Right. You come messing Slide up for PM. Please follow her at Chrisette Michelle to find out where her conversations with Chrisette Michelle tour will be next. Let's give it up for the one and only. Yes.